Yeah, guys, looking at NEO stock. We're going to be looking at the NEO stock price chart today. Uh, I'm going to give a price prediction. NEO price target uh, price. Going to look at the uh, stock price chart, guys. It's coming up to 39 minutes past 5 p.m. UK time on the 19th of November 2024. Wow. Guys, we're on a 10 minute chart of NEO and uh, the market's open, but what a bashing it's taken today. What another bashing. What another bashing, guys. I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, it got knocked down again, where more or less it is now to 445. Who saw that coming? 445, guys. Remember, the last time it got knocked down, just, you know, yesterday um, <clears throat> went down to 4.33, as you can see here. So it's uh, revisiting that range and it rose, guys. It did rise to, you know, 4, 4.77, over, maybe a little bit over. Now it's getting bashed down again. I mean, it rose yesterday <clears throat> on, the, on the 18th. And today it was up as well, but it's got bashed down. Anyway, let's stay on this one day chart at the moment. Neo stock. <clears throat> see what we can see. Well, we see these five trading days here, these five bars, candlesticks here. And then we see two green days, trading days. And then we see it like pushing lower, pushing even lower. Um, so what do you say? I mean, eventually it's got to stop. Where? I don't know. It's hard to say. Not financial advice. Not financial advice, just my opinion. It's hard to say. I did buy more personally in EO stock today because I sold a, a, another stock and I bought um, NEO stock. But obviously I could have bought lower. I could have bought, bought, bought obviously at a higher, slightly higher, <clears throat> slightly higher. But it was just a coincidence. I happened to sell a stock and I loaded up. I bought more NEO stock. I didn't expect it to get bashed down. Maybe the numbers are not as, um, tomorrow's revenue results are not going to be as big as some people expect. Or maybe they're still selling pressure based on, uh, you know, stocks going up elsewhere. But in my opinion, people will come back. I think, you know, if you play the long game with Neo stock. We're looking at the one day chart here of NEO stock. My average on this account is only slightly lower for $4.80. But I think that it's hard to say how low it will go, but I don't think that, I don't, I think it's got to tail off some point. It's got to stop this, this selling. You know, it's all about the numbers coming out. I can't see it going much lower. I mean, <clears throat> I thought 450 would have been kind of a buffer zone, but it went 433, and that's a 450. So it is more or less just going below 450 and rising again. You see, like that's 433, and that's 450. But I think it's possible in in November. It's still in November. I think it's possible for a spike. Could be looking at, in my opinion, not financial advice, but we could be looking at another takeoff, you know, another, uh, let's say, mini rocket where it went 770 up there. You remember? <clears throat> I think we could be seeing that again soon, guys, possibly in November. If not in November, it's a high probability in December before 2024 ends. And I'm pretty confident 
moving into 2025 that that Firefly and other models they've got planned as well, that they're going to really boost sales, you know. And you've got to think like the regions where they're going, they're bound to create, you know, manufacture more kind of like rugged vehicles, trucks, you know, trucks, vans, sort of, you know, because certain regions, all right, they develop their roads, etc., but kind of like a bit rugged, the off-roading kind of uh, terrain, dirt, you know, dirt tracks. You're going to need something, some models a little bit more meaty, you know, a bit beefy, let's say. I'm sure they, they, they've got that in, in the development, you know. <clears throat> I'm sure they've got these plans being developed. Neo, but that's Neo at the moment, you know, it's heading down. We saw that five uh, trading days in a row. It was down and two up, that's coming down again. The good news is it could bounce up because of the selling pressure. But when it bounces, it could go pretty high. Um, Saw that happen here, you know, when it when it, when it was um, before it took off. If you go back, go back here to twenty seventh of August. You see, there was three trading days where it went really low. Not really lower than three, where it was like the lowest was what what three sixty. But you remember from 360, like it went up here back in the uh, 16th of August, sorry, the um, 20th of August, it rose to 418, 418, which was, which was a, which was the highest, by the way, for Neo stock, it was the highest it had been since it since it had fallen to that, you know, in, the, in recent times to that level, right? And then what happened was then it went down a little bit and up and then went all the way back down, like here on the 28th of August, you see that. So people thought back then, oh, well, it's all over. You know, look, you know, stock's back down again. We had this nice rise to 417 from 360 that's like a 50 57 cents rise <clears throat> and it's gone back down again and then what happened rocket not straight away but we had we had it go back up slightly higher here and then the next trading day fell back to like within that range four dollars just below three 395 and then it took off Bang, five five sixty, gave back some, you know, four ninety three, and then again rocket, 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 rocket ship, you know, to four, uh, sorry, seven, you know, seven seventy, and obviously, like you know, the story went down again, but <clears throat> could it repeat now? Not necessarily falling back down to four, you know, where, where for where it took off, so like four dollars. But could this pattern of, you think it was heading up like here, and then it goes back down, remember like it went back down here, could it repeat like zooming up? So the next trading day, one, got one, two, three, four trading days, basically into next week, could it could it repeat that kind of pattern what we see around here? Could that you see the setup is similar? If if you if you can you see that? Can you see that the um pattern I'm talking about is here? If you look at that pattern here, if you box this area here, you see where it went up to there, fell down, went up, back down and rocketed. Now look at that pattern, it seems to be setting up setting up the same pattern here so you would expect it now based on 
this pattern you would expect it to maybe there's another trading day where it goes up a bit that would represent this trading day here so tomorrow you would expect it to go up and then take off from there like into next week take off or take off possibly tomorrow you know that's the pattern you can see it it's, it's a almost a replica it's almost obviously this is, keeps moving so it's going to change the shape it's almost a replica of here so that's what i'm thinking at the moment not financial advice by the way um that's what i'm thinking and i'm thinking like it could make a higher 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 than it had you know when it made 770 i'm thinking it could go possibly towards 9 889 I'm, I'm i'm thinking before the end of the year 2024 it's my my which is my opinion guys not financial advice so that's what I'm thinking it's setting it's setting up to do based on um, this kind of situation, this price action. I see what happens, guys, moving into tomorrow is going to be the revenues for Neo stock. And obviously, don't forget a lot of other stocks are going up and people's attention goes elsewhere, especially with crypto. So that a lot of money gets moved, shifted around. But when... As time goes on, the revenues increase for NEO, money will come back in. But obviously, they have to come back in at a higher, higher stock price. NEO would be a higher stock price. Um, I expect earnings will be positive. I expect them to be quite good to kind of like, um, you know, Look, they've been selling, they've been selling, right? And they're expanding. So I would expect, look, year on year, the sales are going up anyway. So I'd expect this upper coming earnings report to be good because don't forget they're going to be selling more. They, they, they probably would have been selling a lot more with the models they've got at the moment. But then with the models they've got coming out, they're going to sell even more. So I would expect news to be quite good. I think this is market manipulation overall. Um, <clears throat> and a lot of fear-mongering going on still. Still fear-mongering. Still fear-mongering going on. And that adds to... A higher spike when the spike comes, I think it's going to be a higher spike because we've seen down here this pattern. You know, as I said, it got pushed down. You see it there, and then bang, zoomed up. So I think we're going to see a bounce, quite a huge spike up, in my opinion. That's what I think is going to happen based on, as I say, this price action. As I said, like in the, in the previous videos, this, um, Neo stock is a spiky stock. Like, so the moves it makes, when it makes a move, up or down, they're quite spiky. So what I mean by that, they're quite volatile and they change quickly. Um, you know, like down, 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 and then up, up, spike. And so on you see how it moved up here the spikes so we're looking forward to you know into next week guys and tomorrow the 20th and also into next week we're looking forward to hopefully hopefully green hopefully green guys going beyond beyond diamond hands guys diamond hands anyway it's just my opinion not financial advice so I'm going to keep watching it, guys. I loaded up. I, I bought more. I did buy more. I bought more at a higher price. Um, uh, yeah, I bought more. Because you can never know how, how low it's going to fall, whatever. And um, so we just have to just keep watching it, guys. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to show you that I bought more um today 
I'll show you, look, because you, you, you might think, oh, you might think that you don't believe me or whatever. So here, look, I bought more today. Yeah, Neo. That's how much I bought, 163. I bought 163, guys. Not that much, but I've added to my position overall on this account and and uh, my other account. So I did buy, guys. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not lying to you. I'm not. I'm telling the truth. I did. I did buy it. Right. I loaded up. Not a lot, but obviously overall my my holdings have gone up. So diamond hands, guys, looking for the next spike up. Looking for the next spike up, guys. And um, don't forget to like the video, like and share. Share on stock tweets, Yahoo Conversations, other platforms you, you use. Trading 2 on 2, eToro, all the other platforms, guys. And um, see you in the next video.